Okay, so compression. What does compression mean? Compression means to take a large amount of data and store it within a small amount of space. So for example, in the three minute thesis competition, you take years of hard work and you compress it down to just three minutes. Clearly compression is quite useful because compression allows us to save space. So basically, um, in order to, so let's think about how we compress data. So in order to compress data, we have to basically look at things that occur more often and represent them in a more compact way. So for example, in the English language, some words like the occur very frequently. Instead of writing the, the entire word the, we could write just a single letter, for example, like T. Uh, this allows us to save space. If you repeat this process for other commonly uh, occurring words, then we will be able to reduce the size of the English text. Um, so we also have to store something called a code book. And the code book is like a glossary. It allows us to figure out what each abbreviation means. So the letter T, for example, we will write in the code book, the letter T corresponds to the, and similarly for other words. Now this code book is, uh, is basically, is quite useful for a reader to be able to figure out what you, know, you wrote down. Um, so here we have a comparison of two different code books. The first is the naive code book, which does not give us much compression because it basically just uses the same size block every time to represent the data. On the other hand, we have the smart code book, which uses smaller, uh, smaller bars for uh, short, more commonly occurring data. In this case, the uh, yellow data occurs very frequently. So it's able to compress that down by representing it with a small bar, like an abbreviation. Now, the code book also has a storage cost. Now, this cost uh, has a bit of a trade-off with the data cost. So for example, if you use a very large code book, then we can compress the data very well. On the other hand, if you use a very small code book, uh, well, we're not going to compress the data much. However, the uh, code book size also matters. So like the total size matters. And so you have to kind of optimize for both. And somewhere in the middle, there's a balance. And our AI-based compression method is able to find this balance. It's able to compress data to up to 2% more than other comparative methods. So as our world becomes more and more reliant upon big data, it becomes more and more important that we are able to store this data efficiently. I hope that my work can help us towards this future so that we can save space for more. Thank you. <laughs>